your weather rate certified most accurate forecast fox 54 weather you know i was planning on spending some time outside i had the windows open the doors open and then boom Bo had a medical emergency, so he had to spend some time at the vet. But don't worry, he's fine. He's just got worms. Wow, that was a really depressing way to start off what's going to prove to be a beautiful forecast. You got something to follow that up yes, with? Yes, because Jordan says I never spend time well, she outside, doesn't. but I have a valid excuse. So you're telling me every single day it's nice outside? Bo has a medical excuse? No, it was just very coincidental that that happened, my poor yeah. baby. But he's okay. He still spent some time. The point in all of this is that you, that you chose a very depressing story to start off what's going to prove to be a beautiful forecast across North Alabama, there Southern Middle Tennessee. It was a beautiful afternoon across the Tennessee Valley. Temperatures climbed into the upper 70s. Florence over there in Northwest Alabama actually did manage to see 80 degrees. Congratulations to them. Everybody else as forecast saw highs in the mid and upper 70s. We saw 79 today in Scottsboro, 77, Arab, Albertville, and Coleman. A pair of 78s for both Athens and Decatur Fayette. Good evening up in southern middle Tennessee. Also saw a high this afternoon of 78 degrees. Temperatures climbed that high despite the fact that we actually started the day with a fair amount of cloud cover really between 8 a.m. and just beyond the lunch hour. This a time lapse from the top of Rainbow Mountain showing that cloud cover through the first half of the day. It wasn't until we got to the back half of the afternoon that a lot of that cloud cover managed to move out of the Tennessee Valley and we actually did end up getting to enjoy a fair amount of blue sky. We're going to be talking about a different weather pattern as we head into Friday and then through at least the first half of the weekend. It's going to involve an upper level trough across the western half of the United States in an associated area of low pressure and then a large upper level ridge across the eastern half of the United States associated with a large area of high pressure. Like I said, this weather pattern maintains itself as we head into the front half of the weekend. The rotation around that area of high pressure is going to be such that we're going to bring in a very warm and moist air mass to the Tennessee Valley. It is actually going to feel like the early part of summer as we head into the final day of the work week in the front half of the weekend. It's also going to feel rather warm as we head into the overnight early into your Friday morning. A great night across the Tennessee Valley. Another one of those nights when you could easily leave the windows open. Temperatures only dropping into the mid and upper 50s. I've got a low right around 56 degrees. Maybe that's a good thing if you're trying to get that pool to warm up a little quicker. So getting in that cooler water is a little more tolerable as we head into the weekend. The kids get a fantastic morning at the bus stop. Probably the best morning they've seen in quite some time. You get a fantastic morning to head to work tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine. 60 at 7. 64 by 8, 69 degrees by the time we get to 9 o'clock. Definitely not going to need the air conditioner in the car tomorrow morning. Maybe you'll want it in the afternoon. Tomorrow is Earth Day. It is going to be a beautiful day to spend some time outside. We maintain the sunshine we see in the morning. Temperatures easily climb into the low and mid 80s, 83, 84. Certainly not out of the question. We're going to maintain that warmth as we head into the weekend. Here's the front half of your weekend. A mostly sunny sky for your Saturday. Got a high temperature right around 82 degrees. That after starting the day in the mid and upper 50s. We start things off in the lower 60s on Sunday. Sunday. Really going to be a nice warm morning heading out the door for Sunday services and Sunday breakfast. Maybe a couple of more clouds through Sunday afternoon. Still plenty of sunshine. You're able to spend some time outside and work on the suntan, sunscreen. As always, I've got a high right around 83 degrees. Heading down to Talladega Super Speedway this weekend. Look at this. It is going to be a warm weekend at Talladega Super Speedway. Mostly clear on Friday, 84 degrees. Clear sky on Saturday. Plenty of sunshine once again. I've got a high right around 84. The Geico 500, it is going to be warm. It is going to be sunny. Make sure you hydrate in all of the right ways. Maybe a couple of clouds down there in Talladega. Otherwise, I've got a high right around 85. Now, the warm air maybe gives you a nice glimpse of summer. Not so fast. The period beyond the seven-day forecast, Climate Prediction Center puts us at about a 40 to 50 percent chance at seeing below average temperatures. Now, that's all relative. If the average temperature on day X is 77 degrees and the observed high temperature is 76 degrees on day X, well, then it was a below average average day. Not a whole lot in the way of below average even as we head into the early part of next week. It's not until Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday that temperatures begin to sink just a little bit, Julia.